Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm just going to be showing you how to join or weld text using Inkscape. Um, yeah, it's quite easy to do, so I thought I'd just do a quick run through on how to do that. Uh, so I'll just pop in some text here. And I'll just grab that and bring it into the middle. Uh, you can also hold control and use the scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom in and out. Uh, first thing you want to do is go path and object to path, and that just changes the changes it to a path so that it can be manipulated and you can work with the type of thing. Um, you'll see that it went straight to outline mode there, but if you go to view and you can click on normal or outline, and sometimes when I'm doing things like this, I like to just work in outline so you can actually see what's going on. So as you can see there, it's all sort of overlapping. Um, you can go to uh, uh, object and then ungroup and that'll actually break like un ungroup all that so they're all individual letters now still overlapping but that's okay but we can now select the w and move that over and you can either drag that over or you can use the arrow key to take that across get that all lined up and then it's just a matter of selecting the whole word and going to path combined and then path union and you'll see there now that that's all joined together so it's a, it's a pretty quick and easy way of doing it. Um, I might also show you too with uh, when you have things like I's and J's and things like that and you've got the dot above it, sort of how you can uh, join that dot. So I'll just type something in here. I'll select it, bring it into the middle again. Again, path, object to path, just so that we can go in and access that. Uh, so underneath the select tool here, there's a node editor tool. And when you click on that, it brings up all the little nodes on everything. So if you just select the dot, you can then select those nodes that are in that dot. And then you can grab that and move it down into place. Again, you can use the arrow key to move it. But it's quite easy to just sort of group those together and, and drag them down. Uh, once you place those dots... On, they've got to be touching obviously so when it welds up it's all one thing but once you have all those together um we'll just scroll back out a little bit here i'll leave that one scroll out again so again it's just a matter of selecting the whole word again going to path and going to combined and then path union and again it's all welded together and now with the dots on top so yeah, fairly easy to do. Um, if you found the video helpful, give it a like and maybe consider uh, subscribing to the channel and that way you can see any future videos that I post up. But again, yeah, thanks for watching guys.